Okay, so we're transitioning into the fall season and we've been noticing a lot of pill bugs, AKA roly polies in our garden beds. And so what we want to do is want to make sure that none of those roly polies are gonna be eating our seedlings that we just started two weeks ago. So in this video, we're gonna show you a good simple way to do our organic pest control for pill bugs. And we're gonna start right now. What's going on YouTube Gardener? It's your boy Sydney from the Naked Gardener channel. Hopefully after watching this video, you're going to learn simple ways that you can use a organic pest control for pill bugs. Now if you like these types of videos, make sure to give us a thumbs up. And if you're new to the channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button and hit the bell icon so you don't miss an upload. Now roly polies are a crustacean actually, they're not a bug. And they're kin to or the family of the lobster, shrimp, crawfish now they're a great composters uh, so they're good for if you have a compost or a worm bin however if you have a uh, garden bed uh, they could be a nuisance but well, we found a nuisance uh, during the spring and summertime they're eating on some of our leaves and some of our seedlings and transfers uh, that we started so what we want to do to prevent any issues that we have to transplanting any of our fall crops into our beds is we're going to do kind of like an experiment to show you how you can prevent them from eating on your seedlings so in this bed uh, we're going to do a experiment we're going to do a beer trap right here and then we're going to do a citrus fruit uh, area right here to kind of draw into the uh, roly polies and then we're going to also do some uh, newspaper cardboard uh, we're going to use cardboard but you can use newspaper if you have it or if you still even get newspaper and we're going to let this sit overnight come back in the morning and see which one attracts the most out of this and then we're going to show you a prevention matter so roly polies are mostly nocturnal so in the evening time that's when they're most active uh, so in the morning we're going to come in here and check out which of these uh, traps attracts the most roly polies all right so we're in the next day in the morning and i can see <laughs> some roly polies already uh swimming in around here uh, let's take a look at the uh, lemon we got some few get some right up in there about one two few around there let's take a look at what's underneath the cardboard oh we got a lot so it looks like they're more attractive under this cardboard and the beer trap so let's do an experiment to see uh, we're gonna do experiment to see if they of the dimaceous earth is more deterrent of roly polies and then we're going to also do another experiment on the sluggo the sluggo plus now with the sluggo plus it has this uh i don't know how to say this word spinosa and after it breaks down uh it acts as a fertilizer so this could be an advantage and we'll see how much this does compared to that dimaceous earth so we're going to do another test of putting a, another beer trap right here uh, another lemon and we're going to split up that uh, plywood or the cardboard and just circle uh, each one around it all right
All right, so we got these traps all laid out and we got the deterrent around it. So we'll know which one is deterrent the best out of the DE or the Sluggo, uh, Sluggo Plus. So we'll be coming back tomorrow morning and checking these out. All right, so we're in the next morning and we're now we're gonna see which one of these are the best deterrent for pill bugs. So here we have the beer trap. Let's see. And this is the uh, DE side. Uh, no. Oh, I don't see any. All right. So, and I don't see any around here, do you? No. All right, let's check the citrus plant. Oh, there goes one right there. But I don't see any right there. Mm -hmm. All right. I oh, got to see one right there. Mm -hmm. Let's see. Okay, so now let's look at the uh, Slogo Plus. Should have did a light beer or you could do a soda if you don't drink beer. Did any pour out? No. Oh, is there one? No. No? Okay. Yes. okay. Uh-uh. -uh none okay. let's check the fruit got a little bit mold there but none okay. uh, see any in here nope all right let's check here see one right here but that was about it All right, so the Slogo Plus uh, is about $40, and this is for a five pound container. Uh, we'll put a description to our Amazon affiliate link down below. Like I said, it gets rid of all types of uh, cutworms, pill books, slugs, snails, and even earwigs. Uh, some of these are great composting uh, insects. However, like I said, we're starting our fall garden and we don't want any of these bugs to start chewing on our seedlings once we transfer it. Uh, the DE is more of a all-purpose uh, deterrent because uh, it's a food grade. You can use it as a kind of like a dry shampoo if you have any type of animals and whatnot. This was only, what did I say, about $15 mm -hmm. and uh, both of them do work about the same amount and this is about a one gallon slash three pounds so uh, you could decide which one that you want to go with uh, for the seems like for your bang for your buck it will be this one uh, the only good thing about this is that after it uh, breaks down and whatnot it acts as a fertilizer so you could de decide which one you would like to go from there all right, so let us know what type of ways that you normally get rid of your pill bug slash roly polis. Now, if you like this video, make sure to give us a thumbs up. And if you're new to the channel and you haven't done so already, make sure you hit the subscribe button and hit the bell icon so you don't miss an upload. Now, we have done other pest control experiments on our channel. We'll put the playlist above here so you can follow along. Until the next video, let's grow together. Big, big.